What's going on everybody? Tony here and I am back at Universal Studios Orlando and as you can kind of see behind me, we'll take a closer look. It is Christmas time. We're going to check out the decorations. They got the Christmas tree up and they also have a holiday tribute store we're going to check out as well. So let's go. Right here at the archway entrance, we have Universal Orlando Holidays featuring Macy's balloons. Now typically during this time they would have their Macy's parade. You know, at nighttime, their little holiday thing. But because of COVID and everything else going on, to my understanding, they are not going to be doing the parade. However, they will be having the balloons scattered throughout the park that you can go and take a look at. I don't know if those are up right now, but to my understanding through an email, that's kind of what it sounds like they will be doing. Making our way down Delancey Street, you can see everything is decorated up all the little houses all the uh convenience stores and here what you hear in the background we got the blues brothers doing a little christmas melody and there she is the old Christmas tree. This thing is freaking huge. Get up a little more up close and personal. Not too many like ornaments like other things, just a bunch of Christmas balls on here. And then there's a star just right up top there. But this thing is really huge. Oh, and look at this little street lamp here. Got a little Santa hat on. Isn't that precious? Right over here, Right across from the Christmas tree is the Tribute Store. So we're going to go check that out, check out the merchandise, see what's going on in there. This is amazing already. Wow. These toy soldiers they'll have are, are very creepy. All your different little ornaments here. They're all going for $10 a pop. Pretty cool. Gingerbread man, Christmas tree cookies, stockings, ice cream cones, a little bit of everything. However, I really do want this ET ornament here. And of course it is $18, go figure. Oh, no, 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 no. We need the Back to the Future one as well. Dang it. Coming into the next room here, it is very, very bright. We have this awesome decorated tree here as well. This is awesome. This is the Grinch room here, the little Whoville, if you will. So it's all Grinch merchandise here. Oh, look at this little Grinch hat. This is awesome. This is $27, but just look how cool that is. And you got the little elf hat here as well. I believe they're all going for $27. This hoodie, I spotted this a little bit earlier, this always naughty, this green and black sleeved hoodie here. We got the Grinch right on the back. This is really cool. This is going for $55. And they got another one here. That's really cool. That's a kid's one. Some plushies of the Grinch. This is so cool. Who doesn't love the Grinch? Uh, $21.95. Cool. Another shirt here. I love the Grinch. He's just so moody, $28, kind of like my life. Oh, look at the little baby Grinch plush. Oh, just look how adorable that is, $16.95. Then you got your little Grinch uh, pajama outfit here. I need this shirt in my life, ho, ho, no. You can't tell by now, I'm not really a Christmas person. I don't know, Lisa on the other hand, she is all about it. I really do like this shirt. It's a quarter length shirt. No, it's not a quarter length. It's a long sleeve shirt. And they want $60 for this. Jesus. I wish this was a short sleeve shirt. I'd wear that because, hey, I live in Florida. So, <laughs> you yeah, know, it doesn't get all that cold. I mean, it does. When it drops below like 75 degrees, I'm kind of freezing. Oh, your little Grinch miss uh pins here if you're a pin collector they're going for nine dollars a piece 
And we have some of the keychains here as well. They're going for da -da -da -da, $11 a piece. Oh, I like this little Grinch snow globe here. This is really cool. This is going for uh, $68. Really cool though, and it's heavy. I picked up that box and I was like, whoa, didn't expect that. You can get the whole entire Grinch village here, the hula la the ornament shop, the Mount Grumpy, uh, Grinch figurine, Cindy Lou, and Max figurine. This is pretty much amazing. So the hula la goes for 92. The ornament shop right here is going for 92. The Mount Crumpet right in the back is going for uh, $94. The Grinch figurine here is going for $62. Cindy Lou and Max, which is right there, are going for $27 a piece. Wait, what is this? $248 for what? Oh, for this light up Grinch statue, this thing right here is $248. Can you believe that? But just look at it. And of course, Universal has their own spirit jersey here. We have a Grinch one, which is going for uh, $55. That's the front there. We got the little Grinch logo, his face, and on the back, I love the back, the Grinch. How cool is this? All right, let's exit out of here. Uh, it's just not a lot going on. Uh, so you have that little bit of merchandise in the front of the store, which was a lot of like, I saw um, Jaws stuff and Back to the Future stuff just to like, I don't know, like stocking stuffer that didn't really have to do with Christmas at all. And then in the second area, which we were, which was dedicated to Grinch. But I do like all these little posters here as you're leaving. This is amazing. All the past time of the Christmas stuff done here at Universal Studios. How amazing. And here are some of those floats from their little Macy's uh, Day Parade back in the day. I say back in the day, <laughs> that was happening last year. Oh, look at little E.T. The vlog at them. I lie. You come into this room here, and this is going to be your Harry Potter Christmas area. Dedicated to Harry Potter. Right over here, we have your little like Harry Potter stockings as well, and your little ornaments. This is all Slytherin right here. This is going for $18.95 for your Slytherin stuff. The stocking is going for $20. That's actually not bad. Over here you have your Ravenclaw section, which is for Lisa. Lisa claims that she is a Ravenclaw person. At least that's what she got when she took that little online test thing. I think it was called Pottermore, that website. I did the test too, I did it three times, and all three times I got Slytherin. And we got another room we gotta go through too. This is where the cashier and everything else will be, and what type of theming do we got going on in here? We got Earl the Squirrel's Tree Farm. We're nuts about trees. This is pretty exciting actually. Just all the different like little trees that you can see set up in here. Very bright, very colorful. Absolutely. And then you get all your little like candy and gourmet stuff. These are Holly Jolly Gummy Lights. Butterscotch, peppermint, and cinnamon. $2.99 each. I love how they light up. All their different uh, holiday treats, cupcakes. Ooh, I want to try that vegan reindeer brownie, but that thing is massive. And then we have Earl's Sticky Buns and Sugared Nuts. <laughs> well, look, there you go. So here you can get a maple pecan sticky bun for $4.49 or roasted cinnamon sugared nuts for $5.99. That's so cool. Wow. And 
And this is what you see as you're exiting, just a little bit of Earl the Squirrel's little tree farm here. And there's Earl. I love it. The greatest, best quality. Sounds like how I would speak. Oh, we got Hashtag. Check him out. <laughs> yeah, he's a rocker. I love Hashtag. Let's look at him. Okay, currently right through this way, it's closed off right now. As I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't think the holiday um, featuring uh, Macy's balloons thing was going on at the moment, but this would be the entrance to actually go in to see Universal's holiday experience featuring Macy's balloons. This is where you would go when it opens. Before I finish up this holiday cheer here at Universal Studios, we are going to go check out one other place to see if they're giving away any pins and or magnets. That's right, we're going to the Pass Holder Lounge. Nicely decorated area here, going right down the strip. This is pretty amazing, actually. I like the little, I still like these little street lights here with the Santa hats. That's pretty fun. <laughs> I like that. That's fun. Hey, Marge is out. She's like never here. Yeah, there she is. Normally we always get Bart and uh, Homer, but we got Marge. Right here, the studio styles is the pass holder lounge, and there is a little bit of a line here, so I'm going to wait. This tells me we got a Christmas magnet and maybe a Christmas pin. We got special limited universal pass holder 2020 ornaments here. I don't know what they're going for. There's not a price on them, but I really like it. And now we get to wait in this line to get our pins and our magnets, the holiday ones. The pin and magnets are acquired. This, I can't really read. Mediolava Jinx? I don't know. Something Harry Potter, I probably imagine. And then check out the Christmas pass holder magnet. I love it. Check out the squirrel right in the tree. All right, that's going to do it for me here today at Universal Studios, checking out all the different little holiday offerings that they have to offer right now. We checked out the tribute store, which was amazing. Amazing. A lot of different things going on in there. A lot to take in. Uh, the Christmas tree, which is huge. It was amazing. And then all the other little Christmas decorations that are going on. Very good time. It is a good time of year. It's not my favorite. I'm not a big Christmas person, but it is a good time of the year. However, we will be back to check out those Macy's Day balloons that I think you get to, to my understanding, you get to just walk around and check out the actual balloons that they normally would have in the parade. That's my guessing. All right, guys, we will see you next time. Vlog finito.